my name is Kim, and I am going to hopefully persuade you that watching reality television will affect your life in a negative way. As a mother, I know I wouldn't want my son to watch such stupid things. With more fake tanning, fist pumping, party going teens, along with girls portraying the latest trend, the baby bump, in this world, it is, is there any question that reality television has uh, an effect on today's society? Shows like MTV, Jersey Shore, Teen Mom, as well as Keeping Up with the Kardashians seem to be having a profound impact on teens and adults today. Also, the producers of these shows get a large sum of money from the advertisers to showcase this unscripted foolishness. Reality television um, creates really unrealistic views of reality, promotes warped values, and appalling behavior and displays unfavorable impressions of couples being thrown into the spotlight. The first disadvantage of reality television is that it creates unrealistic views of reality. MTV airs two shows, 16 and Pregnant and Teen Mom, which presents erroneous accounts about parenting conveying a message about that being a parent is not difficult. An article in the New Zealand Herald reports there was speculation to be placed within the media Girls were pur purposefully getting pre pregnant. Being on the show allowed girls to be able to provide a comfortable existence for their children, but in reality, I mean, how many 16-year-old mothers get, it, get a six-figure income? These shows do not show realistic views of reality. Now that I discuss how reality television creates unrealistic views of reality, I will discuss how it promotes warped values and appalling behavior. The shows are more concerned with ratings so it is arguable that there's not much morality going into the production of these shows. For example, an article on EliteDaily.com reported that Kim Kardashian made $12 million from her highly publicized wedding, which ended 72 days later. Mm -hmm. This makes a mockery of uh, the sanctity of marriage. Chris Humphries has finally voiced his feelings about his short-lived marriage to money-loving reality star Kim Kardashian. The basketball star recently filed to annul his marriage to Kim Kardashian, and a source close to Chris says the NBA player feels played. The insider also says Chris was just slotted in the plot line of Kim Kardashian's latest headline and newest business venture. So, it took you so much time to figure that out, Chris? The entire marriage had the words fraud and fake written all over it. It's time to face the reality of the situation, Chris. Once Kim was done tapping her show special, she didn't need you anymore. The mole also added, Chris would never have flown his childhood pastor in to officiate if he were in on the scam. However, Chris plans to use Kim's own absolutely idiotic words against her. You'll need more than just words to get back at her, Chris. But what do you say, viewers? Do you think Humphreys was in on the scam, or was he played? If you have ever seen an episode of Jersey Shore, it is essentially about a group of girls and guys in their 20s uh, who share a house on the beach. As portrayed on MTV, they spend most of their time tanning, having casual sex, getting drunk, and promoting Italian-American stereotypes. This type of behavior is appalling and can be detrimental to our young children. According to an article in the Scholastic Choices in 2012, a Girl Scout study found that 73% of people surveyed thought that reality television shows make people think fighting is a normal part of a romantic relationship. And 70% and said that reality TV makes people think it's okay to treat others badly. For example, you can see some of the behavior um, displayed in this clip from Teen Mom aired on MTV. Um, me and Bentley are going to move to Nashville. We're moving this week. It's pretty I figured that you would do something like this. You're taking him away from his whole family and moving him somewhere else. I don't really give it up. And four days ago, my mom and I got into the worst fight we've ever had. And she was arrested. I'll see you later. Get off me. You need to shut your mouth. Can't wait. I'll bring your ass to court. See you later. You want to me? Weird. Quit. Huh? I'm not even going to get off me, though. 
Amber? No, I swear to God, I wish I was bigger than you. I beat your ass. One more hit. One more hit. What? You hit me? No. I am at the edge. Do you want to get punched in your face? You want to hit me, honey? Stop. So, after discussing... <laughs> Discussing how reality television promotes appalling behavior and warped values, I will lastly discuss how it displays unfavorable impressions of couples being thrown into the spotlight. Being thrown into the spotlight can take a normal, well-adjusted person and cause him or her uh, to live their life just to be famous. For Russell Armstrong, husband to Taylor on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, tensions were extremely severe. After the couple announced that they were getting a divorce, Armstrong ended his own life. Prior to his suicide, Armstrong said to People.com, when you, you get a TV show involved in all the pressures, it, it takes a whole new level. We were pushed to extremes. In conclusion, I want to reiterate that reality t TV creates unrealistic views of reality. It um, promotes work values and appalling behavior and displays unfavorable impressions of couples being thrown into the spotlight. If reality television is watched responsibly and in moderation, it can be a positive and can can be positive and enrich our way of uh, looking at the world and things around us. Uh, the readiness to take pleasure in reality uh, television shows may emerge from the increasing separation we experience from others around us. The more removed we are from each other as individuals, the more readily we uh, fail to experience consideration and compassion when others around us are suffering. Reality television contains both negative and positive aspects of our lives, therefore we must watch with a critical eye. I hope that after hearing my speech today, you have a different perspective <coughs> on the effects of reality television. Thank you.